Hey, Snowcast back. I'm back. Back on Monday. Yes, it's Monday. With Garuda Linux. Garuda is uh, Arch-based, actually. And this is the latest version. I've updated it, installed it in the box. Updated it again. Uh, it actually looks really, really nice and polished. I like the look of it. Some of you won't like the icons, but as you know, you can change whatever you like, so it doesn't really matter. Now, as per usual, we're not doing long videos, we're doing shorties. And we'll just go have a look at certain things about the distro. Remember, this is the XFCE version. There are others. Uh, one thing to note, and I'll come to that in a minute. Where, 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 can I find it? I can't remember if I can find it. We'll go to system first. <clears throat> now, the Garuda Assistant. This is quite interesting. So if I click on here, there's a lot of these little extra bits and bobs in here. So say I want to update the system, I can do it from here. I can refresh my mirrors, refresh my key rings. It's all in this nice little application, really. You can control your ButterFS and your snapper functionality. So it'll take snapshots of your system, just in case it goes bang. Being Arch-based, it will. And it's not when, it's when it's going to do it. Okay. Your system components. Now, this supports pipe wire for your audio, which I like. But you can also activate jack as well. Or you can go back to pulse if you want to do. Under virtualization, you've got all these options here. When installing, I wanted to get the printing support, and it, I can use my printer from within the box. But, unfortunately, I can't use the scanner that's with the printer. How does that work? I don't know. Works in everything else, just not here. Must be a Gruda stroke arch thing. And you've got your settings here where you can change your shell, etc. Performance tweaks. I don't really want to do anything like that, because we're just giving you a quick look at what it looks like, to be honest with you. The system specs, other diagnostics. I don't really want to do anything like that. That is a nice little tool. I do like that. Okay, there is a problem. You can't use PAC... Sorry. You cannot use PAMAC at the moment to get your uh, new... What can I say? Your new applications. Because it's broken. So you just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Indie Terminal. And use Pac-Man. Okay. I'm not going to show you how to do it here. I have done this, different videos on this before. So I shouldn't have to do it anyway. Uh... If I go to HTOP, I should be able to do it from here. I'm just watch this all. There we go. I've only given it two cores, guys. Uh, one thing I didn't like about it, which is n no big deal because lots of distros do this, it, it wants a really big piece of hardware, or hard drive, should I say. And it's given it nearly four gig of swap. Don't really need that, do you, really? Or, but I think it's from India, so maybe if their hardware is a bit limited, maybe they do, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know, do I? What do I know? Nothing. So anyway, that was that. We're going to close that window. Now, under games, as you can see here, I've got Lutris. And I'm going to show you how I got that in a second. So here's Lutris, all installed and ready to go. And you say, well, how did you do that if you can't use your graphical installer? Or did you use Pac-Man? No, I didn't. Parts of the installer actually work. So if I go to here, uh, I think it's under settings. It may be. No, it's under system. If I go to Guru the Gamer... And this is what you get that comes up. Now, I think these ones with these icons are the ones that are not working. But as you can see, I've installed Lutris from here. So you can have Steam, Heroic Games Launcher, whatever that is, Mini Galaxy, Game Hub, Bottles. Now, Bottles, I've used that before. Should we see? No, I'm not going to bother doing it. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We will install, just to show you how it works, native Steam. Okay, and we're going to apply that. And it's, what's my password? You know, the super safe one. And we'll click OK. And there it goes. Off download a load of dependencies. Wow. But they're going through really quick. So they're all tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Okay. Checking integrity. Doing stuff. Rebuilding the 32 bit stuff. Because you need 32 bit stuff for Steam, remember, for some of the games that it runs. Mm hmm. A bit of a drip. apple juice here while I'm waiting. And there we go. Steam is installed. Well, that nice and easy. Another thing here, you can install some games from here. Obviously, because something's broken, you can't do that bit. But you can do emulators. So, there's RetroArch there. Wow. Dolphin. Wow. VBA. So, most of the emulators that you want are here. Or you could just get a stick and put your own on it. Uh, should we install DustBox? We might as well. We've got the time. We've got the place. I click Apply. I want my password again. I'm not doing any more installing after this, by the way. It's all you're getting. Okay. Oh, that was quick. So, that's done. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to close that. We're going to go back to here, to the menu, and to games. I'll go through the actual thing itself in a minute. Oh, there. They're all there for you. Superb. Anyway, basic XFE or XFCE. We're on and off. Date and time. Notifications. Battery. Doesn't apply to me. So if you've got a lappy, it's there. Volume. What's that little thing there? Redshift installed. That's fine. And we've also got here your Ethernet. Or you can use wireless, of course. Then your basic terminal. Files. Firefox. Does not work very well in this one. Unfortunately, it's probably because it's in the box, because it happens on the several distros I've used. It's just the most current version of Firefox it's doing it with, not the older one, so something's gone amiss there, hasn't it? In your menus is all the basics I've just shown you. Your accessories, development, and games I've shown you. In graphics, I mean, you get some quite really interesting applications to use. So you've got Color Picker, Document Scanner, doesn't work. Peek, to make GIFs or GIFs from your screen. Pinter and Restrato. Under internet, of course, you get Firefox, but you also get Geary for your mail. Your modem manager, Steam's there as well. Transmission. Now, multimeter is an interesting section, considering I haven't done anything. Audacity, Celluloid, MPV Media Player, Pit TV. That's an old one from the past. Your pulse controls. Uh, what's that? Video to LAM and XFC Burn. And then we've got Office. Now, of course, we've only got Abbey Word here at the moment. So there's simple reason I've not used Pac-Man to install anything. Because I'm just showing you what it's like. Uh, we'll change the desktop just to show you something here. It comes from some really nice desktops. Can you see? Some really, really nice ones. So if I just scroll down a bit further, we'll find a different one for you to see. Lots of animals. What's that? It says Garuda. It looks good. Nice desktop. Very well executed. I like it. So if you want an Arch-based distro, and you don't mind using the terminal to install your stuff for the time being, until he pulls his finger out and fixes it, Remember, there's probably only a really, really small team. So don't expect anything really, really quickly. Give it a go. It's nice and polished. And if you can get the browser to work correctly for you, you're away. Sneaking things out. I suppose. Bye-bye.